3D movies create the illusion of depth on a flat screen by mimicking the process in human vision known as stereopsis, where the brain fuses the two different views we get from our right and left eyes and fills in the space in between. Cameras with lenses rigged close together like a pair of human eyes capture the action, which is then simultaneously projected onto a single screen through a set of filters. When viewed through glasses with a matching set of filters, our left eye sees only one view and the right eye sees the other and the brain fills in the depth information, just as it does in real life. While 3D projection in the 1950s required two separate prints, hand-synchronized and projected side-by-side, side, later methods would combine the two views into a single strip of film and project alternate frames. But no single discovery served to advance the popularity of 3D filmmaking as much as the advent of digital cinema technology. There have been many attempts to make 3D movies be a viable consumer option through the years. One of the reasons it's come back now is because of the increasing prevalence of digital cinema. It's much easier to have synchronized projectors in a digital cinema environment than in an analog cinema environment. Thanks to digital, 3D projection rooms have gone from this to this. What you're looking at is a crispy CP2000 2K projector. This server allows us to hold up to one terabyte of content on it. Also, it holds the, the CineLister program. This allows us to play back our shows, build shows, add cues, also set up schedule so that everything is automated and starts on, on an internal timer. There are a number of digital formats in which 3D movies can be shown today but the three most common in commercial cinemas are Real-D, Dolby Digital, and IMAX. Real-D 3D uses a single projector with an LCD filter in front of the lens to provide the circular polarization for counterclockwise and clockwise polarization. Uh, it's alternated in sync with the, the projector to get the right eye and left eye separated properly. Left and right eye frames are triple flashed, alternately projected a total of 144 times per second. Like the filter, the lenses in Real-D glasses are circularly polarized, clockwise in one eye and counterclockwise in the other, to separate the alternating images on the screen. Real-D fans say this approach offers the viewer greater freedom of movement than linear polarization. Real-D requires a special reflective silver screen to maintain polarization, making this method somewhat less flexible for theater owners than another popular technology that also uses only one projector, Dolby 3D. Dolby 3D uses uh, color filters to filter the light for the right and left eye. In a process known as wavelength multiplex visualization, a Dolby 3D filter placed on a regular 2D projector splits each of the three primary colors used to construct an image into two slightly different shades. The two sets of shades transmit light at different wavelengths. One set is used to project the left eye, the other set projects the right. They're getting specific frequencies of red, for example. You get two different frequencies of red. They're close enough so that we perceive them as the same red, but they are actually a different red. This is how they're splitting the right and left images. So there's no polarization involved, which means we don't need a special screen for that. But you do need more expensive glasses with extremely accurate color filters to differentiate between the narrow bands of colors used to separate the two views. It's a cheaper way to install it, but then the glasses are more expensive. A veteran of analog 3D, IMAX is now converting many of its theaters to digital 3D. And in their digital format, they're actually using two projectors, uh, projecting the right and left eye. The two projectors alternately overlay left and right eye images at a rate of 96 frames per second. The system uses polarized glasses along with a specialized silver screen to separate the left and right views. IMAX 3D viewers may wear inexpensive passive polarized glasses, similar to Real-D, or electronic liquid crystal shutter glasses with left and right lenses that alternately open and close according to a signal that is sent from the projector. Made possible by low-frequency sensor technology, active glasses are an effort to reduce image spillover by further isolating the left and right views, enhancing the stereoscopic experience. If the technology is such that the left eye sees some of what the right eye should see and vice versa, then the viewer experience will never be as good as in the real world. 
Still ahead, why even digital technology leaves some 3D moviegoers feeling a little flat. They may never really be able to see in three dimensions. And makes others a little queasy. Some of the kids will say, you know, I didn't like it.